Hey beautiful people, if you want to learn how to make elastic waistband shorts with pockets, then keep watching this video. A couple of months ago, I posted a video showing you how to make a pattern for elastic waistband shorts. That video has been doing really well and I've since gotten a request for elastic waistband shorts with pockets. So I'm going to show you how to modify this pattern or at least how to add a piece to this pattern. It's going to be that pocket piece right there. And if you haven't already seen that video, then click the link in the description or in the cards up top. Watch that and come back to this one so that you can have everything you need. To draw your pocket piece, I would recommend drawing a vertical line that's about four to five inches shorter than the out seam of your shorts. So that means the length of your shorts. Once you draw that vertical line, you can use a French curve just like this to draw a curved line out from that vertical line. It doesn't have to be anything specially shaped. It just needs to be big enough to at least fit your hand, to fit your phone, whatever items you want to be able to put inside. Make it big enough for that. Around my pocket pattern, I have an allowance of three quarters of an inch. You could do the same or you could do half inch. Now that I'm done with that, I am just cutting off the excess off of my pattern. To make this short, I am using a yard and a half of lightweight chalice and I am pinning the back of my pattern to the fabric first. By the way, my fabric is folded so I have two layers underneath my pattern here. I'm actually adding more pins here for a little more stability because chalice can be a little bit tricky to cut. Before we even go any further, could you subscribe? Subscribe to The Quaint Pursuit. I'm gonna be giving you sewing videos, pattern making videos, entrepreneurship videos, fashion designing videos. This is the place to be. All right, let's move on to the front of the shorts. So I have my fabric here folded in half again, and my fabric is wrong sides together, I believe and I'm pinning the front of my pattern to the fabric and cutting along the edges of the pattern. So now I have the back and I have the front of my pattern. Now I'm gonna work on the pocket. I'm pinning my pattern piece to the fabric and I have two layers of fabric under my pattern here but I want four pieces of this pocket so what I'm gonna do is to fold it in half and now I have four pieces underneath my pattern so I'm pinning again just to add that extra layer that I just folded under and I am able to now cut around my pattern You will now have two pairs of pocket pieces, so that's one, two, and one, two. Now I'm taking my two front pieces, and I'm gonna take each piece, fold it in half along the side seam, and I'm using my scissors to cut a notch. We're identifying where the pocket piece is gonna match on to the main piece so do the same thing for all 
four parts of the body of your shorts and do the same thing for the four pocket pieces of your shorts as well. Now I can match the notch that's on my pocket pieces to the notch that's on each of the pieces for the body of my shorts. So I'm going to be doing the following steps four times. I'm not going to show all of that on screen. So essentially you're going to be pinning your pocket pieces to the body of your shorts and we're going to stitch along this line here, right along where you've pinned. All right, so I'm using an industrial sewing machine. You don't need an industrial sewing machine though. You could work with a domestic one. And if you'd like to know which sewing machine is best for you, then watch this video in the top right hand corner of the screen. So now I'm removing the pins from my shorts. Now I'm flipping my shorts so that the pocket piece will be underneath and I'm folding the raw edge of the side seam inwards and I'm pinning that down. So you're folding that inwards towards the shorts itself. Now you're going to stitch along where you pinned on all four pieces. You're only folding in about a quarter of an inch and once that's done, you will turn your pocket away from the shorts and pin on top of that. So we're going to top stitch now quarter of an inch along the shorts right there and this is how it's gonna look so you should have done this to all four pieces and once that's done you're gonna take the two front pieces and the two back pieces and you're gonna place them wrong sides together and pin along the inseam We're gonna stitch along there with a quarter inch allowance, removing the pins as we go along. I'm cutting away the excess because we're about to do a French seam and I don't want to have any of the frays coming through the seam. So I'm just cutting away the excess fabric here but if you have a serger, just go ahead and actually serge the raw edge of your fabric. Now I'm turning the pieces of my shorts right sides together and I'm pinning along that seam. Because remember, this is a French seam and I love French seams because they're really clean. I'm stitching with a half inch allowance, removing the pins as I go along. And I'm doing this for the back of my shorts and the front of my shorts. So what I'm doing here is ironing the out seam and the in seam and the pocket and the entire shorts itself just to make sure it looks nice and flat and neat. You will now have two pieces in total. You will have the front of the shorts and the back of the shorts and pockets will be attached to them. So you're gonna place the front of the shorts and the back of the shorts right sides together and place pins into the side seam. You're gonna place pins along the edges of the pocket as well. And we're gonna stitch along where the pins are. So we're not gonna stitch straight down. We're gonna stitch down, then around the pocket, then down again. And we're doing that on both sides. I'm stitching with a half inch allowance. And what you want to do is stitch from the top of the shorts down to at least half inch of the pocket piece. Pivot your fabric and stitch. 
So you're gonna stitch around the curve of the pocket. Keep turning your fabric as you go along. Take it slowly if this is your first time. Once you get towards the end of the pocket, you want to stitch in towards the out seam at least half of an inch. So you're gonna stitch half inch into the out seam, pivot your fabric, and then stitch down to the hem. To stitch the crotch of your shorts, you're gonna place the front crotch and the back crotch wrong sides together. Make sure that the seams are in alignment and you're gonna place pins into the crotch just to hold it into place. Stitch along with a quarter inch allowance. Cut away the excess and fold at the seam once more. So we're gonna turn the shorts out and now it's gonna be right sides together and we're gonna put pins in to keep it in place. And with that being done, we can stitch with a half inch allowance and remove our pins. Now we can work on the waistband of the shorts. So we're gonna take the top of the shorts and we're gonna fold in about quarter inch just to get the raw edge away. So if you have a serger, this would be a perfect time for you to serge the top of your shorts. But if you don't have a serger, just fold in or fold down by quarter of an inch and pin. If you've been finding this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Coin Pursuit for more sewing, pattern making, fashion designing, and entrepreneurship videos. You should end up with something looking like this. So we're gonna stitch now along what we just pinned. We're gonna remove all the pins as we go along and this is gonna be with a quarter inch allowance. Your short should look like this. Now I'm cutting a piece of elastic that's four inches shorter than my waist circumference. So if your waist circumference is 24, you're gonna cut your piece of elastic to 20 inches. Join the ends of your elastic by overlapping about quarter of an inch and stitch. Here I am folding my elastic in half and putting a notch at the top and bottom opposite to where I joined my elastic. And now I'm matching up those notches to the seam of my elastic and identifying the sides that are opposite of each other and putting a notch at the top and bottom. The reason why I do this is so that I can have four points on my elastic circle that I can match up to the back seam, the front seam, and the side seams of my shorts. The first thing I did was to match the seam of the elastic with the back seam of the shorts, and I'm matching the notch opposite of that to the front seam of the shorts. Then I'm taking the notches at the sides and matching those up with the side seams of the shorts. And I apologize that you're not able to see everything that I'm doing here. Like you're not able to see the whole shorts on the screen. I didn't notice that the camera wasn't seeing everything. Once you've pinned that, you can go ahead and stitch your elastic to your shorts, but be sure to stretch your elastic while you stitch that's what's gonna give the shorts a scrunchy effect at the waistband which i love very much and that's why i informed you to have your elastic being four inches shorter than your actual waist circumference with that done you can fold your waistband down and if you're not a pro you can pin 
so that you'll have some stability but if you have more experience with sewing then you can just fold it down stitch along the edge right there and stretch while you stitch So this is how the waistband of my shorts turned out. Now we're moving on to the hem of the shorts. Fold in twice by a quarter inch and pin. Do this all the way around both of your hems until you're done. Next, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch along the edge of where we pinned. If your hem looks like this, give this video a thumbs up. This is how my pocket looks. And if your pocket is a little bit too big, then turn your shorts inside out, stitch off some of the excess, as much as you think you need to remove, and cut that away. Fit your hands into your pockets to make sure that they work the way how they're supposed to work for you. Fit your shorts to make sure that it fits you nicely. Check your waistband to make sure that it stretches nicely. Check your hem, all of that good stuff. And I hope you were able to get a really nice pair of shorts from this. Follow me on Instagram at quaintboss and send me pictures of your shorts. You can also send me questions there. You can send requests there or you can leave those in the comments down below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to The Quaint Pursuit for more sewing videos and check out my sewing playlist and my pattern making playlist for more. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.